The other day in chronic pain group therapy, one of the older ladies said something in the chat that um, I found really upsetting. She basically said like, Oh, it's so unfortunate that because of these drug users, it's so hard for us to get the medication that we need and there's such a stigma. <sighs> I raised my hand and I waited my turn and I had to speak up about it because it's like scapegoating an entire group of people, these mythical drug users, as the reason it's hard for us to get medication makes no sense because these drug users or drug addicts out there are also in pain. Most of them are also patients. It doesn't matter. And by stigmatizing them, you're actually feeding into the problem that makes it hard for us to get medication. We are not more real as patients just because we have to go through all these f hoops to get medication. I hate that I have to have constant psych evaluations just to get narcotics that I need to stay out of the ER every month. I hate it. It's really dehumanizing because I am also mentally ill. And so they have to screen me constantly to find out if I'm at risk for being addicted. Jesus, I'm just trying to live my life. To point the finger at like drug users, drug addicts, blah, blah, blah. It's the same shit because they have to screen us for drug addiction too. I have to take a survey every two weeks to talk about, oh, have you used this drug in the past seven days? Have you used this drug? It's the same shit. So why are you feeding into that? After I spoke up about it, the doctor thanked me and was like, yeah, you know what, they're right. We should extend to empathy and compassion, blah, blah, blah. And then the woman messaged me privately like, everyone has their opinions. No, Susie, withholding empathy is not an opinion. <laughs> it just blows my mind every day that we still have these conversations and... Ugh. May the spoons be with you.